G'day guys, this is just following on from my FM transmitter review. So firstly, uh, we'll be just quickly talking about the FM digital module, which is quite commonly sold around the place. Uh, it's sold as a, a digital module, DSPPLL, uh, wireless FM transmitter. Uh, like I mentioned in an earlier video, this little module doesn't come with anything, all you get is the is, is the little module chip here, so you have to connect your own little aerial lead, you have to supply your own power supply, and you have to supply your own uh, audio line, that's just got a 3.5mm audio line. Uh, so what I did for a common question is, um, and I was curious about, was what to use for an, what to use for an aerial. Uh, I wasn't sure, so I just grabbed um, some cat cable. I thought, oh well, that's got some cable in it, and I'll just grab one of the one of the strands out of the cat cable. And I kept two, but just give the I don't know, just because it was twisted together, no real reason. Um, and that's just soldered into the, the antenna uh, connection on the board there. And I've just taped it to a piece of conduit just for testing purposes and I've just roughly cut the conduit out just so it sort of fits in there. Now this is just for testing. I wouldn't recommend using like this all the time. Uh, for a power supply, oh, hopefully you can see in there, I'm just using to have, uh, the USB side of things, just the power, and I've just got a, uh, it's just a generic 5 volt power supply. So we'll power him up, Let's see what you see. So I'm just trying to get the angle right, the, the glare on the on the camera there. Um, so when you power it up, it gives you the. We've got some buttons across the bottom there. We've got a volume button. Now it has 30 different volume levels. Um, we're going to keep it cranked up to 30. We've got some frequency buttons here where we can obviously change our frequency depends what we're using. Now these have got two functions: a long push and a short short push. Short push. We hold it down, that changes of course, and if we do a little push it does like a fine adjustment. So I'm going to want 99.9 for mine, because that's what I've got my radio tuned into. Oops, do that. Uh, and also the last button there we have is like a little mute sign, mute, mute button, sorry. Um, and that obviously just will just mute the audio and it flashes like a little cross up. So what I've got is um, just connected into my computer at the moment and I've got a radio just in the garage here. Uh, we'll fire this thing up and see if we get any noises out of it. So I've actually just got um, X lights running, just an audio source. Um, and we'll play some audio. Now I've got the radio, I'll just turn him up. Now this is recorded on an iPhone, so obviously the audio is going to be pretty, pretty bad. But and actually, this is really short distance. My radio is like a meter away from the FM transmitter, but it works. Doesn't sound too bad at all. Quite acceptable. I was going to turn it down. Um, there doesn't seem to be any bad feedback, etc. like that. I'm not sure of the exact position where this has got to be. I don't know if I've used the right antenna lead. I'm not an expert on this stuff. Uh, but hey, it works. Um, we could try the mute button if we want to, I suppose. That works quite well. Uh, one thing I did want to check was if there was no audio coming out of your audio device, whether your laptop, if you're running X schedule or from a Raspberry Pi, um, does it provide any big crackling or anything like that through the radio? So we'll just turn it back up. And I'll just pause that sequence. And it's, there's a little bit of feedback through the FM radio in my garage. But I think it's quite acceptable. So that's the review, guys, of the little FM module that you can purchase. Um, 
they're quite cheap. I don't know how long they'll last for. Obviously, it's going to need housing to house it in. Um, it doesn't come with the antenna connected, so you've got to solder that in self, which can be a bit fiddly. Um, you've got to supply a power supply for it. Um, there is another option on the little board itself to uh, fit another type of power supply. I thought it was just easy just to use the USB. Um, I will, in a minute, hopefully, um, actually connect this up to near the front of my house and um, move the car up and see if I we'll actually get some distance out of it. Okay. So, good day, guys. This is just the outside transmission test uh, on the little FM module that you can purchase. As you can see, like I had before, I just got the aerial taped to a piece of conduit, which is just sort of sitting on top of my main control box. Just to give you a quick look. Uh, I'm just running a sequence through the Raspberry Pi and using the audio out for a USB uh, connector uh, straight into the module. So I've got the how the volume level consistent for these tests. It's going to be running at 75, I believe, which is pretty like as it sets up standard. And for this one, I've got the volume level, I believe, to 30, which is the maximum. Okay, I've. We'll go over the car and see what it listens to. Listen hey guys, to. this is just uh, checking the FM signal inside my car. I'm parked uh, across the road where most people will be viewing my display. It's probably 30, 30 metres away. So I've just got the little that little uh, FM module hooked up. Uh, I've got my radio tuned into 99.9 .9 FM. We'll just fire the radio up and see what it listens like. Listen. So I've got the volume level, I believe, on my radio on about five. Uh, I would say the volume is a bit low. Um, it is maximum on the lip module. I could increase it on the Falcon Pi player, which would probably help. But for just a comparison between the two, we'll just leave it as it is. Um, I went for a quick drive test up the road and I easily got two or three hundred metres up the road. Um, the volume level did drop off probably 150 metres, 200 metres. But you can still hear it, it didn't crack or break up or anything like that. Um, so it sounds quite clear. There's no crackling. Uh, it sounds alright. Just for a comparison, I'll just tune into a local radio station. So you can hear it is a fair bit louder on the commercial radio station broadcasting on the FM. Okay, thanks for having a listen to that one.